Hello everyone and welcome to the Computational Algebraic Geometry Lecture. My name is Emre and I'm a postdoc at Leibniz University Hanover. My specialty is in developing computational methods in algebraic geometry. In this lecture, we will learn to think effectively about algebraic geometric problems. This means that we will go through some parts of algebraic geometry but with a different emphasis. And it also means that we will learn how to phrase a problem so that the computer can understand us. And just as importantly, we will learn what the computer is able to do and is not able to do at the moment. I made a couple of non-traditional choices while designing this lecture and I would like to clarify them so that you can benefit from them the most. In particular, I should address why we're doing a video series. And the, the main reason is that I expect that while I'm uh, giving an example, that you can and you will want to stop the lecture, go and do a couple of examples on your own computer, and then resume the lecture. Also, at the end of the lectures, I will give an exercise, uh, and the ideal time to do those exercises will be right at the end, so that, you, again, you will have your laptop open and do them right there and then. So I thought this continuous need to fiddle around with your computer would be best served if we actually had a video series lecture like this one. But, of course, this also is an experiment, and give me your feedback. My presentation of the subject matter will also be slightly different, and um, I would like to give you an analogy of what I want to do and what you should expect from this. And it's going to get a little rambly, but this is the analogy that I have in mind. So in 1913, Bohr and Rutherford developed a theory of the atom, which is overly simplistic for what we know now, but it is very simple that you can teach to a high school student. In fact, we still do. Well, they said that the atom basically looks like the solar system. So there's the core at the beginning, at the center, and the electrons are like particles revolving around it. They knew at the time that something must be wrong, but nevertheless, uh, it would, had an extremely good predictive power. And also for simple chemistry experiments, you can basically work with this to design a very good experiment uh, in a way that the experiment will improve your understanding of the world. Now, the full theory is very difficult to learn and would take much longer and would, for a beginner, would be of only small advantage. So this is what I have in mind with this lecture, that we're going to cover um, more ground, but we will not get everything. We will not cover everything in its full glory. And uh, I think you should have in mind the following question, what kind of mental model I can take from this that will improve my predictive power? So one last point uh, before we conclude this video. This is about intuition and rigor. And so there's a folklore story about the Italian school of algebraic geometry this was a prominent school in the early 1900s. And uh, much of algebraic geometry culture, you could say, has been shaped by this story. So let me tell it to you now. So the simplified version. The story goes that in the 1900s, under the uh, Italian school of algebraic geometry, a new style had developed. And this style, there, was, there were some principles that were intuitively formulated but were not made entirely rigorous. And uh, for decades, the best practitioners of this school achieved extraordinary results in, for example, classification of surfaces, a new subject at the time. And uh, they developed these results using these um, crudely formulated principles. Nevertheless, after a few more decades, they started to apply these, uh, these, this intuition into problems that were harder and were 
the basic principles did not actually fully apply and then they started to put out incorrect results and once these, it was realized that these results were incorrect eventually the story goes that the school collapsed and then the, the mod modern more rigorous version of algebraic geometry grew in its place now this is described often as a cautionary tale that uh, you should give your proofs and eat your vegetables but uh, there's also the beginning of this story where these people uh, solved very important uh, problems with uh, technology that would not be developed for maybe 50 years so that they, they predicted what would come about perhaps seeded it uh, for the next half century and then they could uh, observe things that would not have been observed otherwise this would be another telling of the story and uh, I would like you to keep this in mind as you're exploring and formulating your intuition that of course at this time we're all for rigor and hopefully for at other lectures you will uh, ex expand your proof giving capabilities but uh, hopefully in this lecture uh, we will be a little bit more like the earlier times of the Italian school and remember that we have a computer to test our intuition so that that will hopefully set us straight. This concludes the first video where I've sought to set up your expectations for the rather strange material to come. Um, if you want to have two explicit takeaways then first one is that you should continuously strive to formulate predictive mental models and two, you should test your intuition with computer experiments and in general mucking around in the mud is an excellent place to start learning so that's what we will do hope to see you in the next lecture